Hello everyone, I am Eva Lamisani. Today I am here to talk about the important chapters and important questions that we need to study from inorganic chemistry for our common board exams. Uh, out of 100 marks in chemistry, we are asked altogether 33 marks from inorganic and we are asked 11 questions in total. Uh, two questions are long questions. Out of two long questions, we have to solve only one. Each long question carried nine marks. And remaining nine questions are sub questions, each carrying four marks. We have to solve only six of them. So six for 24 marks for short questions and nine marks for long question makes total 33 marks for inorganic chemistry. So here in inorganic chemistry, we have four chapters to study. First is refining and purification of metals. Second is comparative study of as and the of element and their properties with their important compounds. Third is the block element. And fourth is preparation, properties, structure and bonding of some chemical compounds. All these chapters are equally important. Uh, we just have to find out which chapter is more important and which is less important. On the basis of that, we can determine which to skip and which to prioritize much. Okay. Here, the first chapter is refining and purification of metals. Under this, we have to study uh, chromatography. Zone refining, solvent extraction, oxidative refining, Mons process, parting process. All this procedure are the method of purification for our metal work. They are often asked for short question in our exam. So, uh, if you have want to attempt every short question that you are asked, out of nine you have solved six. So for that, make sure that you will be studying all the chapters. And if we are, if you are in the last hour of our present, uh, preparations for exams, then um, in a in a sense that you can you will be covering all the questions from all the chapters, remaining second, third, and fourth. Uh, you can skip this chapter because only these short questions have has been asked from this chapter. No long questions yet. So make sure that you will be studying the remaining these chapters so well so that you can skip this chapter because only short questions will be asked from this chapter. And all this procedure for some question are equally important. All of them are being asked. So second chapter is comparative study of S block element and P block element and an important compound. Here S block element, uh, in S block element we have the first IA. Uh, we have to study about uh, the bloody properties, hydrogen energy, mobility of ions, nature of bonding, formation of complexes, crown and crypt ethers. Solubility in liquid ammonia, anomalous property of lithium, diagonal relationship, biological importance of sodium and potassium, solubility of salts, lithium alkyls, occurrence and isolation of element. Uh, this were, this, those all chapters was for good first day element. In this way, we have group first day, group second day, group third day, group block element. And the chapters that I have included here are important for short questions. We are often asked short questions from this chapters um, on the basis of the topic that I that I have prepared here in this slide. So from group second day, we have asked about ionization energy, nature of bone, hydration energy, formation of complexes. Halides and hydrides, biological importance of magnesium and calcium, reaction of water, anomalous properties, diagonal relationship, solubility, and Greek nat reagent. Comparison between group first and group second. Uh, this are uh, first IA and secondly they are compared, and they uh, we are asked from this. And from P block element we have third A. Now, third A to 8A, these all are P block element. 
and we have to study different properties, different uh, compounds and about all the things that we have under this topic and we first we have extraction of ammonium uh, atomic radius. Now I want to make sure that this second chapter as block element and p block element is very important chapter. It is in a sense that we are asked long questions as well as short questions. There is very high probability that we will be asked long questions from this chapter. It is often asked in the past questions. So while we are preparing, we have to make sure that we are not missing any chapters of it. So that will be attributed to all short questions from it and long questions as well. In long questions, um, the comparison between X block element and P block element with there are some properties to explain, we are asked a long question. And also, the extraction of ammonium from this group for a P block element is very important. The extraction process of ammonium, that is a very long process with figure and all, this is actually long question as well. So, till now we have two long questions, two hour long questions that we have discovered after uh, the unit 2. The remaining short questions can be from anywhere. It can be from ionization energy or atomic radius or solubility or diagonal relationship or anomalous property. Short questions can be asked from anywhere. So we have prepared almost all the things. But for long questions, extraction of ammonium is very important. And the comparison between S and P block element with their important properties along the group and along the period is important. Okay, we are as ionization energy from the theory also. Inert pure effect, yes. For inert pure, inert pure effect is often asked in short question. This is inert pure effect we have in another group as well. So we have to answer on the basis of which group we are asked for inert pure effect. We have to answer that question in the sense of which group uh, element is at fair. So we have inert pure effect is a very important topic we need to study for short question. Uh, boracin and boric acid, formation of allies, 3 carbon, 2 electron bone, ammonium alkyls, alums, borax, cement, anomalous property of uh, boron and diagonal relationships. So this is uh, from Thorde. Uh, now from group 4, 4th, uh, we have inner pure effect again here. So it is important and oxidation state. Yes, oxidative, oxidation state is also very important. And allotropy of the elements, carbides, silicates, metal carbonides, halides complexes, hydrolysis reactions, internal pi bonding we using the orbital structure, prions, anomalous property of carbon. These are the questions that we are asked from IBA uh, for the group. Um, group 4A, from this we have oxidation states. Covalency, molecular formula, hydrides, halides, phosphonitrylic compound, liquid ammonia as solvent. This liquid ammonia as solvent is very important chapter. You, you, uh, you have to study this for long question. Phosphate first, uh, for, uh, fertilizers, rule of phosphate uh, is studied in biochemical process, oxidases of phosphorus, nitrogen cycle. These are the chapters from. 5A, BA. Okay, from BIA P block element, we have covalency, hydrolysis, P pi D pi bonding in oxy acids, acidrain, anomalous property of oxygen, ASCO and CO. Now for group 7, that is halogen group. We have, yes, production of fluorine. This production of fluorine is a very important chapter from as block p block element for long wishes. How the fluorine is produced in laboratory, its preparation, what, how, what, how, uh, what are the limitations that we have in preparing this, what are the usages, anything that relates fluorine can be associated with the questions and it can be asked as a long question. For our exam. So, production of fluorine is a probable long question from this unit 2. We have altogether three probable long questions from 
um, you need to ask block and feedback element. Now, for short questions, we are asked about periodic properties, electropositive character, electron affinity, uh, electron affinity versus oxidizing property, halogen acids, and oxy acids of halogen. These all chapters uh, are equally important for the short question uh, for the short questions. Now, for group zero element or group eight A B I I A element the questions uh classic compound isolation of compound gases these are the questions that are these are the topic that we need to study for uh group a element now the third chapter is d block element d block element is the most important chapter out of this four it is in a sense that we have very large content to study from s block element and d block element but in deep block element there are com in comparison to unit 2 unit 3 has less content but the question that we are asked from deep block element is more than like equally important as the marks that deep block element unit 3 carry and unit carry is almost uh, equal but the content is less here so we can prepare uh, the chapter for wrong questions and solve questions as well so here under this chapter, we have uh, the short question that uh, the long question that we are asked, and we are asked that analyzing from past questions is that what are d block element? What are the properties of d block element? Explain the pro following properties of d block element like atomic radius. How the atomic radius of d block element along group, along period, along first row of transition metal, along second row, third row of transition metal changes is asked. It's ionization energy. It's a magnetic property, catalytic property. The properties that deep block element has is metallic property. This five properties is very important. Variable oxidation state of deep block element. Why deep block element has variable oxidation state? In the same way, why deep block element or the transition element can form different color compound? These are questions that can be associated together to act on wrong questions, or they can be discreted to give different sub questions are also we can and so we have to prepare every properties of the block element for long questions as well as short questions we have atomic radius ionization energy metallic property properties of the block element Werner theory of coordination compound this Werner theory of coordination compound like just like the block element their properties are important for long questions this Werner theory of coordination compound is equally important for long questions for long questions minded for long questions from this unit 3 because one of the coordination compound explain the formation of complex coordination compound how it is formed and it has different postulates in it so uh, what is one theory write the postulates of one theory and explain how this compound how this complex uh, giving some example of compound you will be asked about how this compound is formed on the basis of one theory, how this theory explain the formation of this compound. For example, it can be uh, hexamine, hexamine, bromine, third chloride. So it's kind of complex compound you will be asked so that uh, you have to explain the uh, this, uh, how it is uh, formed on the basis of the theory. So one the theory of coordination compound is very important chapter for long questions from unit 3. So you note this down and study it so seriously. And the sub questions can be yes, differences between first row and other two row of transition metal that is obviously D block element are called transition element. Why it is called transition element and first row of transition element, second row of transition element, third row of transition element, they have different uh, um, properties. Their uh, atomic radius, ionization energy, and different other properties are different. They have uh, the changing nature is also dynamic, like it's not in a same ratio or same way. So uh, we have to prepare in that regard as well. We have oxides and halides that we need to prepare and uh, EAN rule that means effective atomic number rule, clusters compound, sub questions and formation of covalent compounds, hydrides, these are the sub questions, these are the topics to, you need to uh, study for uh, unit 2, unit 3 sorry. And also we have complex salt versus double salt. 
दिस इज कॉम्प्लेक्स आर वर्सेस डबल सर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर सब क्वेश्चन यू हैव दिस इज दिस हैज बीन एक्स सो मेनी टाइम्स इन आवर पास्ट क्वेश्चंस रिएक्टिविटी लिगेंस यस लिगेंस इज व्हाट यू नीड टू नो फॉर वर्ना थ्योरी कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड सो लिगेंस इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो लेट्स एंड मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज इन द सिमिलर वे बायो इनऑर्गेनिक chemistry of iron copper and chromium catalytic property of d block element how d block element so catalytic property how it work as catalyst that's a question and ferrocene these are all the topic that we need to study on the d block element i hope i mm, tell told you all about what are important for short questions and what are important for long questions so in this unit 4 unit 4 we have preparation properties structure and bonding we have different chemical compound at least uh, 7 8 9 compound we have to study and all this compound and unit 4 as a whole is very important for uh, our board exams because short questions are also asked from the chapter and long questions is also asked from the chapter and we have to study only uh, few compounds their preparation their properties their structure as well as their bonding we have hydrogen peroxide ozone potassium permanganate hydroxylamine hydroxyl acid sodium thiosulfate hypo it is also called hypo hydrazine potassium dichromate marshall salt and carbon acid these are the chemical compound that we need to study on the, the uh, chapter uh, on the this unit 4 and out of this all chemical compound hydrogen peroxide has to go to ozone potassium permanganate this three chemical compound are uh, relating to this compound we have been asked like in past questions we can see that uh, long questions are asked from this chapters from this compound how they are prepared what are their properties um explain their structure their bonding what kind of bonding that they have these are the questions uh, aggregating all these questions are long questions of the nine marks from hydrogen peroxide ozone potassium permanganate it has been asked in the past question as well so this three chapters three compound is very very important for long questions remaining hydroxylamine hydroxylation sodium thiosulfate hydrazine potassium dichromate marshall acid and carbon acid are also equally important for short questions so we can skip this chapter even so out of four chapters Uh, if you are going to skip first chapters since there uh, is probably the only for long questions remaining chapters have to study well so that you can attempt all questions for 33 marks and you can do better so this much for today in this video thank you for watching uh good luck for your exam thank you